Good morning everybody. It is Christmas Eve 2021 and I am spending a little bit of time to myself changing the gear oil in a 2016 300 horsepower Evinrude G2. Um, some people might be a little bit nervous changing this because it's a little bit different. As you'll see, it does not have a top fill plug. I don't really even, that's a water t intake right there. Um, like most of them, what it actually has is you've got your, your drain plug, fill plug, and then there's actually a tube that runs all the way up the motor into this little ketchup looking bottle. And uh, so I actually like it. It, uh, it lets you make sure that your lower unit or gear case still has oil in it and it actually gives it some room to expand so if you are having um, issues with your gear cases instead of it just getting hot and blowing out the seal it gives it some room to expand um, the only difference in this and doing a regular lower unit um, is basically instead of filling it until uh, you have oil come out of the top plug you um, you just keep filling it until it comes into this ketchup bottle here so we're about to do that uh, right now. So um, this gear oil was changed uh, in less than a year. It was changed in February. I bought this boat used, uh, knowing these motors had high hours, and my plan is to eventually repower it. But um, you know, if I, I want to get the most life out of these as possible. So uh, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to change the oil. The biggest reason I'm doing this is just to see what kind of shape the lower unit's in. Uh, whenever you do this, use a clean jug to catch your oil because that the, the the condition of the oil will tell you what the condition of your lower units in uh, the thing that makes these things blow is usually you you, you have a bad seal water gets in uh, mixes with the oil uh, the oil can no longer do what it needs to do to keep the gear case cool and lubricated and you end up um, blowing the lower unit uh, if you change your oil regularly and uh, maybe find a little water in there you might be able to just have the unit resealed and you don't have to have it completely replaced so, uh, you know, you might say to yourself, oh, well, I don't want to mess anything up. It's really not that difficult. And uh, for the amount of money that it costs, you really need to do this every 100 hours or one year, whichever is less. And um, no matter what the manufacturer says, I think Evan Rood says you can go 300, 400. It's a ridiculous number. Uh, but I would do it every 100 hours or minimum a year if you don't use the boat that much. So for starters, we're going to go ahead and take off this little cover. Uh, it looks like it uses a uh, 5 30 seconds Allen. That's the one that fits the tightest. Um, definitely want to make sure you get a snug fit because it's a little Allen deep inside there. If you round it off, you just made a job that was pretty easy. Take a whole lot longer. All right, so we're going to get started. We're going to start by uh, taking our, you might have to kind of find it a little bit. Oh, so now I'm in there real tight. And uh, this one really didn't put up a fight at all. Again, this is just a little cosmetic cover. Um, and then all it does is it screws to the other side. And uh, all that's in this one is actually there's a little nut inside there. So sometimes that can be a little bit of a pain lining back up. Because this, this will sometimes, yeah, it'll fall out. So don't lose that. It's actually the same size, we'll wait for the airplane. And at least on the other motor, again, I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I, uh, I did the other motor first, so it looks like I know what I'm doing. Um, it's the same size plug that uh, takes it out. So when you're draining it, tip the motor up um, all the way to its full trim. I wouldn't tilt it all the way up, but just at this angle so everything runs out. And um, hopefully this one is easy like the other one. Oh, it's gonna be a little tighter. Oh, that's a good sound. All right, so here's our drain plug. And um, just because the oil's not coming out yet, there's not, that doesn't mean anything's wrong. Uh, basically what you've got to do is you've got to uh, open up the ketchup bottle up top so that the air can get in. Uh, another thing to examine is the magnet. I mean, this isn't gonna catch enough metal to save your lower unit, but the fact that there's no, no metal in it really, means that all my gears seem to be working well and if you look at the color of the oil also um, you can see that it's still black um, this oil 
I don't think is specified from the manufacturer because the new oil that I got from Evinrude as specified by the manual is actually clear. But the fact that this oil isn't white or milky, um, it actually still smells like gear oil. I don't know if you're familiar with gear oil. Uh, even gear oil that goes in a in a in a like a transfer case uh, or a uh, differential of an automobile will smell the same way. As long as it still smells like gear oil and still feels like oil, and you don't really see a whole lot of metallics in it, um, you're in pretty good shape. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, what you have to do to get this oil to come out a little faster. <clears throat> So up here you can see the ketchup bottle. There's a little squeeze clamp that you squeeze to take the clamp off. And then once you take the clamp off, you can pull this hose off and the oil, as you can see now, it's draining out a little faster. Um, and that oil is black. So um, that's a good sign. That is a good sign, but you'll see the stuff that I'm gonna be putting back in is actually clear. This is another reason why you wanna start with a, this is another reason why you wanna start with a really clean, uh, catch pan just so that there's no other contaminants in here that the oil would mix with that would lead you to believe that there was something wrong with the lower unit as you can see there's no water in this uh, water is heavier than oil so it would sink to the bottom and um, these these engines I haven't used it in about a week and a half so uh, it's had time for the water and oil to separate and the water to sink to the bottom so there's no water in this lower unit and I'm not really seeing um, any metal shavings either so uh, hopefully um, I'll get another year out of these things. So this is just taking entirely too long. Um, the reason it's coming out so slow is this is a sealed unit. Um, obviously you don't want any water getting in it. So if you're not letting any water in, you're also not gonna be letting a whole lot of air in. You know, for every bit that comes out, it's gotta pull in air from the top. And uh, I'm not sure, this probably isn't in the manual. Again, if you do have an Evinrude, go on the Facebook page, Evinrude E-Tech Owners, and go through the document section. And they actually have the full 400 page mechanics manual for the 74 degree V6 Evinrude G2. I wanna say it's all from a 200 horse all the way up to 300 horse uses the same block. So the manual is pretty much the same. I think the different horsepower just comes from the tuning. But anyway, I'm going to blow into this tube and see if I can make this oil come out a little faster because I do have to get back. <clears throat> oh, we got a bleeder. Should have had a bigger catch pan. That's why I use the cardboard. I can just throw the whole thing in the dumpster. But she's moving now. So we're gonna let that run just a little bit longer. So I'm pretty happy with the way the oil looks. You can see I got like a little bit of a sheen here. That might be a little bit of water, uh, but obviously not enough to mix with the uh, lubrication properties of the oil. But again, that's that's why it's good to keep this oil changed because, you know, its job is to lubricate, but it's also to keep it cool. And um, water water will make this stuff foam up really bad too. So that's the why, reason why marine gear oil is different than say what you would put in an automotive differential. It's designed to maybe get a little water in it and still help lubricate. But um, this is this is a good reason why you should could, should change your uh, lower unit oil as much as you can, especially if your boat's on a trailer already. You don't have to pull it out of the water. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy with these. I think these, these lower units are in good shape. Okay, so the light's not that bad. So here's the oil that's specified in the manual, HPF Pro, and that's what I ordered. This stuff's like $30 a quart. This darker colored oil looks a lot like what I used to put in my old Mercury. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, and I'm sure there's people are gonna say it doesn't even matter. Some people might even comment that the other stuff is even better. I'm just saying, I pulled up the manual and it says it should use a little more than a quart of this. So I ordered three quarts. Um, and you pump it in just the same way. But this stuff is actually clear where that stuff is dark. Um, I don't think it'll it'll matter. There, there'll be a little bit left over from the old stuff. You're not gonna get it all out, but uh, you know, maybe I'll do this again in uh, you know, just a couple months just to get all the old stuff out. But 
you know, with me not being a total expert on or a mechanical engineer, I'm gonna go with what they say. You cannot do the job without this. These are only like five bucks. I added this little piece of tubing, this flexible. The one they give you is like a hard tube. This one's flexible, so it like lays on the bottom a little bit better. Just a piece of clear, like aquarium tubing. And uh, thread this thing in and screw it in the bottle and pump it up like a bottle of lotion. There's, you really can't do it without this though. And uh, from what I found, this is the same thread for my old Mercury. So um, at least there's one thing all the manufacturers agree on to make the drain plug threads all the same. Um, so yeah, just snug and then insert it into your bottle of oil Oop. and screw that on like a bottle of lotion and commence pumping and as you can see this is altogether different color than the other stuff but the last one took exactly one quart as soon as I emptied the quart I could see it in the ketchup bottle and there's two lines on the bottom of the ketchup bottle I'll show you that when we're finished um, you don't want to overfill it because again you want to give the oil somewhere to expand for, if for any reason the gear case starts to get hot so you can see now on the ketchup bottle it's right in between the two lines it's probably about 65 degrees this morning um, so when it's cool the oil might contract a little uh, but when it gets hot it'll probably expand a little so definitely want to put it right in the middle don't think you're doing the motor a favor by giving it more than enough uh, these are the two lines put it right in between the two lines if it's if it's cool outside I'm gonna go a little towards the bottom because um, you know just give it room and and definitely check this thing make sure it's got oil in it make sure it looks like that um, so yeah so now we're going to uh, do the drain screw so it's uh, it's recommended to use a new drain screw and washer so you can see here's the new nylon washer here's the old one looks like uh, here looks like they're designed to smash down after you tighten them um, so the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna use the, the new drain screw because the one that came out of the motor has got the little magnetic tip on it and I actually like that because then you can check to see if you've collected any metal shavings so I'm gonna put the new washer on the old drain screw I didn't know that it had a little magnetic tip on it when I ordered it if I'd have known I um, I probably would have, but now that you guys have watched the video, now you know that the Evan Rude G2 300 is going to have the little magnetic tip on it, um, so you can order the new one of those, and maybe just save that for a rainy day. I don't know. The uh, the pump bottle is holding the oil in there for now, and I'm going to have my drain screw ready to go, and I'm going to put the tube back on the ketchup bottle and what that'll do is that'll create a suction to make it a little harder for the uh yep that's on all the way that'll make it a little harder for the uh the oil to just come rushing out because uh you gotta be you do have to be quick with it you'll lose a little bit but uh it, you saw how fast it came out before so it's not going to come rushing out all right so here we go this thing will kind of just free spin in the tube have your Allen wrench ready and um, just be ready to stick this in there real quick and thread it in finger tight to stop the oil from coming out. Now this thing is designed to, sm uh, to smash down. I mean, don't strip out the threads, but you do want to tighten it until you feel that little nylon washer kind of smoosh out a little bit. Yeah, that feels good. And then, uh, got my little cover right up here with my uh, little nut again this can be a little bit of a pain but your nut goes on facing that way and then it goes in like that and then that just kind of goes in like that And then just, uh, you know, just kind of gently until you feel like the threads have found each other. Yep, 
there attached now. So I just kind of hold them straight. And then this is just plastic, so just, you know, make it snug. And that's it. That's all there is to it. We are, uh, we're finished.